Well, this week I get to introduce you to the life and times of the <sighs> boring carry shop. You know, one of the advantages of this YouTube platform is we get to choose what we want to watch. And we are enticed by thumbnails and titles to grab our attention. Watch me, watch me, look at me, look at me. Remember doing that as a child or, or perhaps you raised children that you experienced that and say, Mommy, Daddy, look at me, look at me. Well, that's what kind of what YouTube thumbnails and titles are all about is look at me, look at me. Out of this mass crowd of choices, look at me. Well, this week was pretty mundane around here and it's kind of hard to come up with a topic that says look at me when we were involved in doing inventory and doing book work for taxes. Not very exciting about that. Well, after we got done with all this boring book work, I did have a chance to throw a saddle on a horse and go out and pull some children behind the horse on some sleds and just have a good time playing in the snow. You know, I have memories of my father doing that with us when we were young. I did that to our children when they were young. And there's just nothing like being pulled behind a horse in the snow and just the laughing and having a fun time. It was a great time and something that all children should be able to experience. So that was really kind of the fun part of the week. But other than that, yeah, <laughs> pretty boring. Well, anyway, this morning I ended up having a conversation with a roommate that I had in college 49 years ago. Over this weekend, this particular weekend, which here in the U.S. we refer to as President's Day weekend, it was a customary weekend that we would, as a number of us guys in college, we would put on our backpacks, we would strap on some snowshoes, and we would go hike to the saddle below a mountain called Ross Peak in the Bridger Range, and we would dig a hole in the snowbanks, and we'd camp overnight, cook out our meals, play in the snow, and just do guy fun stuff in the middle of winter. This is one of the things that I thoroughly enjoyed at that point in my life, snowshoeing, backpacking, winter camping. So we were reminiscing about those events and remembering those that were part of the crew. Several of them have now died. A number of them have married and divorced. And, you know, we were going back down memory lane of what it used to be like in our college days. And so, you know, those that have gone on, we no longer have the opportunity to say thanks for those good times. And this was a chance for my roommate and I, his name was Joe, still is Joe, and had an opportunity to say, thanks, you were a good roommate, we had some great times together, and good memories were made, and I just appreciate your friendship continuing on after all these years. We're knocking on the door of 50 years ago. And so just wanted to take this opportunity to say thanks to you all who watch while I still am able to do that. Because who knows, I may not be around tonight, tomorrow, you know, we don't know. You know, I still find myself in awe and amazement at your kindnesses and your generosities as viewers. You know, some of you have watched this video about when I broke my vice, and it wasn't long after that that a brand new vice showed up. You have watched me ruin my tape measures when I'm working with hot iron, and a new tape measure shows up. You have sent monetary gifts. You have sent equipment. You have sent signs. You you sent different tools. It is just amazing to me the kindness that you have shown us as you continue to watch and support me do what I do here in the wagon shop. You know, and it's, it's just nice to be part of a community that is adding somewhat of a positive impact on what we have 
uh, as far as choices to watch. You know, when Scott from the Essentials Craftsman stopped here and I got to meet him and his wife, just nice folks. It's nice to be associated with that. Jim, Jim Gordon with Working Horses with Jim, you know, to interact with him and to watch his videos is just, you know, we're just normal guys and gals out there doing normal everyday stuff. And it just, by contrast, is such a positive thing as opposed to this current event stuff that, that we're just constantly faced with that is so negative and so down and uh, it just gets to be kind of too much too heavy sometimes you know when the this today's wild west comes out and we get to see part of the working america west you know that's just a a positive influence so it's just good to be a part of that and all that really becomes worthwhile because of folks like yourselves that that desire that, take the time to watch it, to where, you know, it becomes really a viable option and it's just a nice community to be a part of. So just a, a video to say, you know, I know this isn't exciting, but it's ordinary and it's normal. And this is part of life. We don't live always in drama and excitement. We tend to seek after that because we have a difficult time enduring normal. You know, there is a saying that no greater love has a man that he, than he lays down his life for his friend. Diane and I are knocking on the door of 47 years. You know, neither one of us have physically laid down our life for each other or anyone else. But we have, over these 46, soon to be 47 years, in our different ways, laid down our lives for each other. I have done so for her, she has done so for me. And that is the reality of mundane and boring. When we want excitement, we have said, no, we will lay down my life for you in this normal, ordinary way changing the diapers, paying the bills, raising the income, you know, choosing where we live, raising our children, all that type of stuff. And so, you know, just a thanks to you all, to my wife, who watches all these comments, she reads all of them. That is her biggest part in this whole thing, is to relay your comments back to me. She is, in effect, laying down her life for you and for me. And I do this in my weekly video uh, series to you in a, sense, in a sense I am laying down a portion of my life for you for posterity's sake. So I know I'm getting into perhaps rambling and I don't want to go that direction but the main point was this was a very ordinary week not really worth much videoing but there's always room for thank you. You know for the past six going on seven years Thank you for being a part of what I do here in Podunk, America, being an ordinary shop, an ordinary guy, doing ordinary woodwork and ironwork and all that type of stuff. And you are kind enough to stop in once or twice a week and say hi and watch. Some of you even have traveled a number of miles to come in and shake my hand and say thank you. So anyway, just to kind of bring a little update on some of these other projects, I am still making continuing progress on the hotel. All the windows are here. We have those in the building. Uh, we did receive an old antique Hoosier this week. We're trying to kind of contemplate some of the furniture that we're going to put in this old hotel building. And as far as the calves go out on our little piece of ground, weather has been back and forth and you know, we're headed to some close to 20 below here in the next day or two. We're calling for another foot of snow, but the water tank is working well. You know, they do huddle up in that little shed. They have the break from the wind. Our two predominant wind directions are southwest and northwest. So they have cover for that. They're doing well. The whole watering system is doing well. Some of you have asked specifically how the water is holding up. We've been to 30 below. I haven't had any problems yet. It is all flowing and working really quite well. I'm quite pleased with how it has all worked out. 
So anyway, the bulk of this video is just to say thank you for making this all possible and your views is what keeps me going. Uh, it's kind of fun to share and I appreciate everybody of you who follow along. Thanks for watching.